What is going on guys? DBG here and 2K just announced the new packs that they are going to be releasing weekly. So it's looking like they're going to be doing new theme packs every single week. And these packs are called Rim Rockers. So obviously it's going to be Dunkers. So all I'm going to say is, as always, I do not suggest for anyone to buy these packs. I don't suggest for anyone to buy packs in general, especially these because they cost 11k MT. If they lower the price of packs and make these 7k MT or less, I would say do it if you want to, but I would 100% suggest to not buy packs no matter how good you think these cards are. Because these packs are 11k VC and in about three weeks these golds, emeralds and sapphires will be very, very, like almost worthless to be honest. So there's no point in opening packs. But there will be some serious gems in this collection, so there will be a few ones that I would suggest to pick up in the auction house. I'll go over the stats tomorrow and say what I think they'll be worth and which ones are worth it. But I'm just going to go over the cards in the collection now. So it starts off, we've got a gold Derek Jones Jr. card. So Derek Jones says he created some special moments in last year's dunk contest. But this card will be quite good. He's long, he plays the three, and he's going to be a great dunker, and he's going to be a decent enough shooter. Hopefully, I think a speed with ball was what killed his bronze card, but if they have high speed with ball, as well as high dunk tensies of 95 to 100, this card could be a beast, and he'll be really cheap. Next, you've got Jeremy Evans, who, he's just an elite athlete. Like, he was never a great NBA player, but was extremely, extremely athletic. So he could be a great, like, Blake Griffin type player if you can pick him up for really cheap. Probably a slightly better version of Aaron Gordon. Now we're on to two emeralds. So Gerald Henderson and Terrence Ross are the two emerald cards. So these are two really good cards. If Gerald Henderson ends up having a dunk tendency of 100, he's going to be great. Because Henderson was known as a great shooter. Like he could shoot well from mid, he could shoot well from three. And I'm surprised he's actually in a Rim Rockers collection. It's kind of a bit weird to see Gerald Henderson's name involved, even though he was a decent enough dunker. But if he gets like a 90 dunk with 100 dunk tendencies, as well as a shooting ability, this could be a great emerald. And the next emerald will be one of the best emeralds in the game, and it's Terrence Ross. So Ross is one of the best dunkers in the NBA, as well as a, one of the better shooters in the NBA. His Sapphire card last year was one of the best budget Sapphires in the game. And if you can pick up this emerald for like less than 5k right now, he's going to be a beast. And he will be a beast up until at least Christmas. He's going to be very similar to the Emerald Gerald Green card. And hopefully there's a few duos in this collection so they could be good. Great budget players, great sleeper players to pick up. And at least with this collection, we get a lot of Sapphire cards. So first I'm going to go on to Michael Cooper. So Michael Cooper could be a really good card. Because if he does shoot the ball well, he'll be a beast. Because I remember back in the day, he used to have like an 83 point shot as well as great defending. I know they lowered it in recent years. I think they lowered in 2K16 his actual card. But his ruby card last year was quite good. Michael Cooper will have on-ball defense of IQ a minimum of 90. But this Sapphire card, if he can dunk really well, it'd be great. Because he will be one of the better defenders in the game. And if you can pick him up at a slight budget, it's going to be a great card. Next, you've got Sean Kemp from the Cleveland Cavaliers. So, obviously, Sean Kemp was best known for his days at the Supersonics, but he still was decent enough for the Cleveland Cavaliers. But again, this card will be very like a Sapphire card last year, and I think it'll be really overpriced. Then we've got Dwight Howard Sapphire card. So, Dwight is basically just going to be a DeAndre Jordan type player. He's not going to be able to shoot the ball, and to be honest, it's, it's going to be a decent enough card, I guess, but I can't see it being anything spectacular. Next, we have got Andre Iguodala. This Denver Nuggets card, this is going to be probably the best card in this collection, and it's going to be expensive. Andre Iguodala will have high ball control. He'll have really good defending. He'll have great steal. He's going to be able to shoot the ball, and he'll be great at getting to the rim. So he will be one of the perfect players to pick up on my team, but in a few weeks, this card is going to be average, and he's going to be really expensive. So if you're going to be able to snipe him, that'll be good, but it probably will be too much. Next, you've got Cedric Sabalos. Says he's famous for his blindfolded dunk contest effort, which was so obviously like he wasn't blindfolded. Just watch it. Like he grabbed onto the end of the ring after the dunk. But I'm just gonna not gonna show it for copyright reasons, but you can look it up. So it says here he's got 95 standing dunk, 97 driving dunk. From me using this card, I've used his emerald card. He doesn't seem to have the best standing dunk anyway. But the thing is, is that even though he does have 97 driving dunk on this Sapphire card, unless his shooting's really good, I wouldn't even consider picking this card up. Because the Emerald card has got a 95 driving dunk with a 100 dunk tendency, so I can't see the Sapphire being that much better than that. And last but not least, we've got David Thompson. David Skywalker Thompson. One of the greatest dunkers of all time. One of the most athletic players pre-Michael Jordan, to be honest. 
a freak athlete who unfortunately addiction really ruined his NBA career, but a guy who could have been one of the greatest players of all time. Again, he's going to be a good dunker, but in pre like in previous years, David Thompson always underperforms in 2K. Like his ratings mean that he should be way better than he actually is. And now the collection reward is Froby. This collection is going to cost a minimum 150k. So while Froby might be great, I can't see Froby being worth it. Unless you've got unlimited cash, you don't care how much money you spend in the game, this card will cost at least 150k. So an 88 overall card, it's realistically, it's just going to be Daryl Griffith. It's just going to be a 2 inches taller Daryl Griffith that doesn't shoot as well. Like realistically, that's all it's going to be. And it says here he doesn't come with any Hall of Fame badges, meaning I wouldn't suggest to go for this collection award. Even if Kobe's great, even if you are a Kobe fan, I don't think it's going to be anything spectacular. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.